I made this like big vow after um, my surgery. I'm like, I want to help as, as much people as I can. Ten years ago, we introduced you to Josue Ramos, a Carlsbad teenager then who missed his high school graduation because he needed emergency surgery for a brain tumor. Well, that experience had a lasting impact on him. ABC 10 News reporter Marie Cornell is live today from Scripps La Jolla. Marie, he's now made it his mission to help others in a positively San Diego way. Yeah, Jared and Virginia. So from start to finish, there's been so much love and support for Josue. I actually first met him inside of that hospital behind me after he had surgery. And even then, he said moving forward, all he wanted to do was help others. I went home and was bed bound for like two months. Like every other high school grad, Josue Ramos looked forward to the day he could walk with his class to accept his diploma. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. Before his graduation, doctors discovered Josue had a brain tumor and he needed emergency surgery, keeping him from celebrating with his classmates. Instead, with the support of his family, friends, and care team at Scripps La Jolla, he celebrated in the hospital, support that left a lasting impact on him. For everyone coming out and showing support for me, and it means a lot that Everyone came out and really showed their love for me. After being bedbound for months, having to relearn how to do things like walking. Okay, let me try it. Let me do that again. Josue was determined he wasn't just going to make a full recovery. He was also going to use his experience to help others. You get helped out by just so many different people, like different people like touch your lives and stuff. Josue knew he wanted to do something in the medical field. <laughs> went to school to become a respiratory therapist. He graduated and worked at different hospitals in San Diego. But then he got the opportunity to return to Scripps La Jolla, a place he knew all too well, having been a patient in this very hospital. At some point you kind of have to just, you know, tear the bandaid off and, and figure it out emotionally. And while he kept this homecoming of sorts quiet, it was a conversation with his coworker at Elisa that sparked a revisit of his emotional journey. This isn't something that you just tell your coworkers at two in the morning. This needs to be shared. <laughs> this is a story that has come full circle. And now when Josue walks into each hospital room, he brings with him the lessons he's learned as he's made his transition from a former patient to a health care provider. I feel great. I feel like I did what I wanted to do and I came back to the place that helped me out. Um, doing what I wanted to do, and which was to help as many people, because I made a vow when I was 18 years old. And so now Josue primarily works uh, with babies in the NICU, and he says he now finally feels at home. Live from La Jolla, Marie Cornell, ABC 10 News.